Clemson the other day, I was, I was, uh, you know, I, I did the history of uh -huh. cartooning as I saw it anyway, and, and, and the beginning here of cartooning at the state newspaper with Brantley Smith, who was hired to do the cartoons on Tillman and, and against the distillery, and uh, also his last cartoon was on, on Coleman Bleece mm -hmm. that supposedly backfired. He drew him as a vulture flying over South Carolina menacingly and all that, and, and yeah. uh, apparently the editors had not shown the Gonzales brothers the cartoon before it ran on the front page the next morning. So they saw it on the page yeah. and were quite surprised. and. So was the public, and uh, there was a big backlash apparently. And uh, hey, Cindy, and you're on video. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt this. Okay. Um, you have an important call on my line. It's Robert's mother who wants to talk to you. Oh, okay. I better take that. Yeah. No, she's sweet. Okay. Well, she she's she don't likes be Cindy's don't be embarrassed because your mama called. <laughs> well, we can continue. This <laughs> okay. This morning uh -huh. and. Um, this time, uh, Brantley Smith drew a cartoon showing Coleman Bleece as a vulture flying over South Carolina and uh, with the pinions labeled all these things like graft and corruption and yeah. race prejudice and, you know, all these things that, that the Gonzales brothers for years had used in their editorials. Yeah. And, uh, but it had the head of Cole, Coleman Bleece, Coley Bleece, on this vulture. And so the editors thought, well, this is everything they've been saying anyway, and they didn't show it to the Gonzalez brothers. And so the next morning, you know, they, along with the reading public, wake up to see this cartoon on the front page. And the cartoon, the story goes, kind of backfired for the newspaper, and uh, uh, Bleece was elected, and um, in part due to sympathy to this horrible yeah. cartoon, and I didn't think it was so bad, but anyway, I just showed him as a vulture. Just, just like the sympathy that uh, Tillman got right. for shooting NG. Right, right. And um, um, so, uh, you know, 74 years later, this is 1910, 74 years later in 1984, I'm uh, being interviewed by Ben Mars when he hired me to be the editorial cartoonist. I mean, I was really you know, hired by Bill Roan, but, but Ben had to put his yeah. stamp on it, so I had to go in and see him. And, uh, and that, when we got finished, he said, now, don't surprise me, you know. And I didn't realize that the reference might have been, yeah. as I remember, it might have been back to the, the surprise of the Gonzales brothers, the last cartoonist they had employed at the it state had newspaper. It had been 74 years earlier. Oh, man. And I'm still only the second editorial cartoonist, you know, to be employed by the state. They had a freelancer, you know, before I came. Yeah. But, um, but uh, they didn't take the chance of actually <laughs> hiring somebody for fear that maybe <laughs> the same thing would happen again. Well, that, that, yeah, that, they've been they've been waiting for that to happen again <laughs> if they hired a cartoonist. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So that's my story. I don't know if you want to use that, but uh, I just thought it yeah. was kind of an interesting little kind of brings the the history of the state newspaper full circle back to you know, that's right. back to the present day. So is this does this work like uh, with uh, with uh, comments or something? Do we have to wait another 75 years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, all right. Good story. Thank you.